Welcome to the HFT Stocks and Options Commentary. I'm Pablo Navarro. Today is Tuesday, February 26, 2013. For the market internals, the New York Stock Exchange advanced decline differential closed at 921. NASDAQ advanced decline differential closed at 516. We had four new 52-week high for the S&P 500 and seven new 52-week lows for the S&P 500. For the volatility index, the dollar-weighted put call ratio in the VIX, we saw a neutral reading on March with 41% of the total premiums paid on April, a bearish reading with 43% of the total premiums paid, and then all of the other months was with little total premiums paid. Here we have the daily chart for SPX. We have an update today, almost 10 handles for the day. And you could see here the big reversal we had today. We were down and then we finished at negative one sigma. Our next target would be here to try to go for zero sigma at 15.10. The market has been very choppy since last week. As you could see here, I continue to have a neutral target here because I don't want to be in this up and down. We're reversing in the morning then reversing up in the afternoon basically going a nice market for a day trader but not for an investment or a swing trader so i continue to remain here neutral and see what the market's going to develop in the next couple of days for the queues we went down we had a target of 65.70 we went down as low as 65.96 we almost touched our target and then reversed i continue to think we're going to go and test that 200 day moving average at 65.70 and even going to 65.26 which is the gap fill around this area as you can see here from the first of this year so pretty neutral here maybe a drift lower but again a choppy market for IWM we reversed we have a downtrend here so far on the last couple of days today we're not able to go as high as the S&P but as you can see we ended up green the important thing here Again, it's pretty choppy, went up, down, and then up. I continue to see, think that we're going to go and test that 50-day moving average at 87.90. But again, pretty neutral here on the market. For GLD, we have been going up highly today, 1.25% up. And we broke the downward trend line we talked about yesterday. Here, the next target on the upside, we were looking for a gap fill around this area. That's going to be important if we gap make that gap fill and then fail and go lower so that's going to be an important level we also have this couple of three levels here as some resistance if we fail at the 20 day moving average 156 158 56 that's going to be important and then go lower for slb not as bare, as bullish as gld as you can see here maybe go a little bit higher to that resistance level and then fail and go lower you could easily start the trade tomorrow on the short side with a tight stop and look for the lows of last week that would be interesting low risk high reward for apple here we have a turnaround in apple we were up 1.2 percent for the day that's interesting here we were down almost two weeks day in and day out and we're starting to break this downward trend line here I wanted to see above 158, 159, go above that level, and then come and test the 86, the 486 level. That's important. And start breaking those resistance we have on the upside. Eventually, go and test the 489 level, which is going to be around the 485, which is the 50-day moving average. Also, have in mind here, we have a bigger volume that we had on the down day. That's important here on the reversal on Apple. For Amazon, we continue to go lower here. We tried to go higher, but we failed. And as you can see here, we have a big pattern. We have a target of 252. Today, the low was 255. So we're still $3 away from our target. I continue to think we're going to go and test that 100-day moving average. And last chart for Google. Here we have it basically flat today, making some consolidation around the 807, 90 level. I continue to think we're going to consolidate around this level. I would leave Google alone for a while now until it breaks out to new highs.